Hey everybody, what's going on? Hexlex here. I got another Master Duel video for you, and we are here for a surprise pack opening uh, on our surprise stream. Everyone is staring <laughs> at chat right now, uh, or chat rather, is staring at you all right now watching this video in uh, the very near future here. So, um, yeah, we have a uh, Nibiru incoming. We actually do have a Nibiru incoming um, because of the new event, but we'll talk about that here in a bit. Um, we are definitely going to start off with some pack openings, though. Uh, and the shop, we not only have, of course, the new Blazing Arena pack, um, but there's also a couple of bundles, and I'm actually going to start with those. Um, not here. Bundle deal. Here we go. I'm not particularly interested in any of the accessories, but, you know, there's a limited amount of time, so something something FOMO. Uh, and besides, it's, uh, it'll be not too shabby to warm up with some Master Packs here. I'm just gonna dive right into it. Let's just start opening some packs here. I thought my YouTube just started playing a video. <laughs> that's good, that's good. Nope, you are not watching YouTube, you are currently on it. Alright, so I'm gonna go through the Master Packs relatively quickly. I'm not gonna linger too much on them. I'll still open them one at a time, though. We did also get the Runa Course. There's a lot of, like, random stuff that came out in this, uh, newest selection pack. Um, including, yes, the level 9, I believe it's a level 9, uh, Runic Fusion Monster, which is very good for the Generator variant, I know. Also, I saw a follow from Tjung12, thank you very much for the follow there. <laughs> Ooh, we got a UR! It's a Ma- oh, wow, we got a Magistus UR. It's a very, very gorgeous card. Alright, yeah, with the Master Packs, there could be anything in them, so... Could even be a boat. Alright, let's see what's in this one. Probably not much of anything. Like I said, I'm just gonna go through these initial Master Packs here a little bit quickly. Also good for Earthbound Runic. It is super crazy that uh, Bonfire is out, I agree. Um, I, I just made, too, that YouTube video that came out earlier today about the new the new ban list in the Dual Scope Top 100 decks, and I reiterated in that video about not thinking that Snake Eye was a tier 0 deck, but that, um, that might not be the case anymore. <laughs> um, alright, we got another UR here. It'd be funny if I pulled Bonfire from one of the Master Packs. You just asked you first Bonfire. <laughs> Ooh, a Dark Rebellion Dragon. It's funny, I actually used to have one of these and then I dusted it, so now I guess I have another one again. Alright, let's see here. Just about done with this first bundle. Yeah, it's it's really interesting the order they gave us things in. I'm pretty convinced, I was actually talking about this on Twitter earlier today, I'm pretty convinced that the reason we got the new selection pack this early is so that they can hit Snake Eye on the next ban list. And I don't even think I'm really, like, even coping with that, because... Like, I'm not pr particularly wanting Snake Eye to get I mean, of course, I think they should get hit, but, like, you know, I'm not one of these, like, uh, one of these people who's, like, quitting Master Duel until Snake Eye comes out, right? I legit think that's the reason why they gave us the pack early. Um, it'll be interesting to see if we get another selection pack in April, too. Or if this is just April's pack, but early. Alright, gonna open the other bundle here, grab these Master Packs... Still no SP or Typhoon. No Rescue Ace stuff. The Pearly stuff hasn't come in yet. Uh, Chimeras haven't arrived yet, as someone pointed out earlier in chat. So, yeah, it's very just interesting to the order. You know what, though? I, I was mentioning this before, too. When we initially got Poplar uh, with the rest of the Snake Eye stuff, it reminds me of when Shizus came out before Tier Limits, right? And in hindsight, and we kind of knew this in the moment, too, but they definitely put out the Ashizu cards first so they could hit them sooner. So I kind of I kind of think that might be what's happening here with Snake Eye, too. Westlow, yep, saw the uh, evil tile Westlow there. All right. I think we did have one rainbow glowing uh, UR pack. Hey, there's a battle unboxer, just not one of the new ones. Again, we could actually pull new cards from these Master Packs, which would be funny if we did. I think you can also pull Alt Arts from Master I think Master Packs can literally have anything in them. But I don't know too much about them. Uh, I don't open these, and neither should you unless they come with a bundle. Master Packs generally aren't worth it. It's better to just 
do a secret or selection pack to get something for a deck that you know you want to play. Anything but legacy cards. That's true. Legacy is, uh, they at the very least don't cost gems. Oh, no, no, you're saying, yeah, you can get anything but legacy cards in a master pack. Yes. Alright. Got, okay, here's the UR pack. I was going to say, it was still in here. Alright, it's going to be right at the front. Let's see what it is. We got <laughs> an, an Exa Beetle. I think I've pulled like four of these since I started playing Master Duel from like just randomly here and there. And I've not ever kept a single one of them. <laughs> I, th I seriously think that's like been the fourth one. I mean, I only, that's going to be the only one in my collection because again, I dust them. But I've pulled a lot of Exa Beetles playing this game. Alright, so just the one you are, but yeah, you know, at least we have accessories that we'll never use, but but they were limited time, we had to have them. Okay, now what everyone's been waiting for, but first I'm going to top off my gems from the gift box here. I think I can take all of these without having to, yeah, here we go. Yeah, uh, it wasn't worth it, <laughs> honestly, the 2k gems, in my case, but, you know, we had to Gamba. We had to Gamba. Uh, I don't know off the top of my head exactly how many of these, there's no free pulls in here, right? Yeah, no. Uh, I don't know off the top of my head how many of these Blazing Arena packs we're going to open, but um, I probably won't spend all of my gems, but we'll spend most of them. Uh, actually, real quick. We were glowing over this before, what I want to get from the pack. We're definitely looking for Unchained stuff. I want a Dempsey. Uh, I wouldn't mind pulling some of these other random exceeds. Shavares. Um, I'll take Arias for sure, and then of course the Bonfire as well. Mainly what I'm looking for there. Not actually too much in the grand scheme of things. Ooh, we got two URs at the start. Royal Bonfire incoming, please! Oh my god, please, I'm begging for Royal Bonfire. We did get a Royal Flamberge last time we opened uh, packs, which... I was about to hesitate and be like, no, not last time, because that was the season before, but we didn't open the last selection pack, so it was actually last time we opened packs. Royal Volcanics, don't do that to me! <laughs> don't you put that evil on me. <laughs> oh yeah, Magnum the uh, Reliever. Also, not uh, like the best card in the world, but pretty worthy, noteworthy for NR format. Saw people were talking about that on, on Twitter today. <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh, okay. We have our first UR, and it wasn't in a rainbow glowy pack, so that's cool. Hey, we got our first Yama as well. Unchanged Soul Lord of Yama. Hell yeah. Definitely will be building and playing Unchained at some point, for sure. Alright, next card is gonna be Seventh Force. Got a Royal Hita. <laughs> Stop opening packs and dust it, that's good. Ooh, got another... Was this a rainbow glowy pack? I don't think it was, actually. Got another UR here, though. It is... A bomb! I actually do already own an Unchained Abomination, but sure, we'll take another copy of it. I actually crafted that card a long time ago for... I made it for Live Twin. That was before Trouble Sunny even came out, because you used to play Unchained A bomb for your Fiend Link 4. And we got another Unchained Soul Lord of Yama. Wow, that's three Unchained URs in uh, a 10 pack. That's actually pretty good, honestly. Don't worry, you pulled a Royal Volcanic. <laughs> oh, sorry to hear that, Alnick. Got the Volcanic Rat and Shell as well. Yeah, it's even glossy. All right. Okay, here's our other race. So we did get two other URs in addition to our guaranteed ones. That's not bad, not bad at all for a 10 pack there. And this UR is going to be... Hey, we got RIS. Okay. This has been a really good 10-pack so far. Is the full armored Lancer used in anything? Um, I've heard that it is... Wow, we got another UR. I've heard that it is, but I don't know off the top of my head. Somebody was saying... Um, oh, I don't remember what deck. Somebody mentioned it earlier in chat, though. Okay, this one's going to be... Hey, there's the... Speak of the Devil. We got the full armored Dark Knight Lancer. Um, you can stick it on top of any rank 5 or 6, but it still seems like it's kind of specific in what it wants to do. Um, because you can attach opponent's monsters if you equip stuff. And then you can also... So, also this effect that says once per turn where you target one Xyz card in your graveyard add it to your hand. Might not be obvious, but this actually does not refer to Xyz monsters. 
Xyz in parentheses card means a card with Xyz in its name, which is definitely worth noting. Goblin Micros, that's what it was. Goblin Micros. We don't have those in Master Duel yet. Thought it was VFD for a second. No, no, no. Yeah, there's other Xyz armor cards too, but I haven't really read the archetype uh, fully just yet. Okay, so that was a that was a really good 10-pack to start off with. We got five URs, uh, three of which we definitely needed. The two Yamas and the RES there, so cool. Let's go ahead and open the next one. Yeah, that was that was pretty good. Alright, this one only had one rainbow glowing pack, but we could definitely still get more URs than that. You could also, I've definitely had times where like a pack that isn't glowing at all, like changes to one that's glowing rainbow. Which would be neat. Fire format apologists. I think the format's fun. I like playing Snake Eye. It's cool. You do not need to be apologist in uh, in this stream. Alright, we got the volcanic emission. All right, not a bad hold. Not a bad idea to hold on the armors unless you're not set on trying Goblin Biker. I might, I'll try them out. I don't really like. I don't think I'll super need the UR dust, so it's like no reason not to hang on to it. Besides, it's, it's generic enough. I like to keep generic stuff if I can as well. Okay, here is our UR pack, and it's gonna have another Unchained Bomb. All right. And we did already own a copy of that, but, you know, it's all good. We can just dust the extra ones. Ones? You would probably only play one A-bomb in Unchained, right? But I guess if they do play a second, we do own that. But I think you only play one. I know you play Tour Guides, which I already own a play set of that from Phantom Knight, so we're good there. Okay, probably not going to be anything in the rest of these packs. I won't get my hopes up, but... You never know. Packs are always trying to tell you to play Unchained. Yeah, really, though. Alright. What does this card do? Because I know the new Volcanic Monster says a Volcanic Trap. Take a Volcanic Monster from your deck, either at your hand or special, ignoring summoning like conditions because of Doomfire. Start going to pyro on the field and inflict damage, or if it's a target monster, you control the damage. Oh, okay, I see. That's neat. Alright, last one. Utopia appears, which means nothing, <laughs> as we've long established. Does not actually guarantee a rarity or finish upgrade, but maybe we'll get a UR anyway. Nope. Okay. Triangle Zero. If you control Crystal... Yeah, yeah, yeah! This was the spell card that the old guy used. If you control Crystal Skull, Ashoka Pillar, and Cabrera Stone, destroy all cards in the field. Also, for the rest of this turn, your opponent takes any effect damage you would have taken instead. Right, because together they all inflict 4k, and then you do that to your opponent, and in the anime, that's an OTK. They just score from a graveyard, target one of each of those monsters, and your graveyard shuffle them into the deck, and then draw three. Wow, that's pretty good. Alright. Yeah, only the one UR from that one is just the Unchained A-Bomb, but we still have plenty of packs to go. Uh, oof, another, another single, <laughs> single rainbow pack there, but at least we do have one UR in here. Hopefully we'll get at least another. One other, that is. All right, nothing particularly here. Oh, okay. This might have... Well, again, have we also established that that doesn't actually mean anything either? The only thing that actually means something is if it glows rainbow, you get a UR. <laughs> Otherwise, even a... Because I've had glowing yellow packs that are just, like, all normals and rares that aren't even glossy. Watch a friend do 80 pulls, literally got one UR every 10 packs, and it was nothing he actually wanted. That's rough. Yeah, Utopia doesn't mean anything either. I've had packs with Utopia where, again, they're all just normal and rare cards, and none are glossy. I was going to say like this one, but we did get a, a couple of glossies here. Alright. What is this? Telematech. I thought it said Mathmec. I when I glanced at it for a second. It's a rank eight. It's going to be destroyed. You can detach material. Spell cards. Place a spell counter on this card. Max nine. Okay. Can you remove three spell counters? Apply one of these effects. Add one spell. 
or spell caster effect monster from your deck to your hand. Now that's interesting. We're special spell caster. Neat. Rank eight bell. Hmm. Post Bandless Gate Guardian. Oh yeah, since Armageddon Knight's gonna be at three, that's a huge boost for that deck. Because uh, those who might not know, if you open, oh, okay, might have something in here. Uh, for those who don't know, if you open Armageddon Knight plus Shadow Ghoul or the Field Spell, Shadow Ghoul to search the Field Spell, then you can end on a three Matt Appaloosa. Hey, we got Slefnir. This is the new Runic, uh, the Horsey. Uh, you can end on um, three Matt Apo plus Gate Guardian of Wind and Water, which is three Monster Effect negates and then two Spell Trap negates, which is not bad, you know? you play Bonfire and Vanquish Soul? Um, if you have a good Pyro Monster to search, uh, I'm not the most familiar with um, Vanquish Soul off the top of my head. Also, I forgot that Puri Reese map actually was part of that archetype of with, like, Ashoka Pillar and stuff. That's cool. That's neat. I think we still... Yeah, we haven't seen our UR pack yet. Yep, Runics have a new fusion. It's level 9, which is very relevant for a lot of decks there. Or some amount of decks, anyway. Yep, okay, here's our UR pack. Literally the last one. It's okay, this one's gonna be the Royal Bonfire. Oh, literally the last card. It's all Volcanic Trooper! <laughs> yeah, I mean... Yeah, I mean, this is the better Volcanic UR to pull. But I'm still not particularly interested in playing that deck. Do you think Lab will be equal with Snake Eye or Snake Eye will still be good? No, 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 no. Snake Eye will definitely be the better deck. Abs I mean, Lab will be better, don't get me wrong, than it is right now. Um, but Snake Eye will absolutely be the better deck, for sure. Alright, got another UR. Only the one, again, but... Let us see what we have. Oops. Alright, it's gonna be Volcanic Rimfire. Okay. Or the bomb tokens to pop. The Volcanic Trooper doesn't make one, I saw. Alright, I want to get to that UR pack. I want a bonfire already! <laughs> uh, we still need to pull Unchained uh, Shavaris, too, the main deck monster. Puri Reese map. Unchained will be good in Hand Trap and Lab Meta. Yeah, I don't actually have any experience with Unchained as far as like the combo lines or anything. I still gotta do that research. I was going to do it, I thought I had more time to before the the pack came out. Okay, here's the other new Unchained monster. This one's Shy uh, Shimaya, Sh Shyama, Shyama, right? I'm just saying. <laughs> All right. We all thought we had more time. <laughs> That's good. And true, very true. New pack jump scare, really though. All right, let's see here. The seventh force. That one's royal. Is this card any good? During the battle phase, if a monster is destroyed by battle or card effect, target a number exceeds monster in your graveyard. Special summon from your extra deck one number C monster with the same type, but is one rank higher. And if you attach this material, special summon number C monster with between rank one and one or seven. You can add seven barbarians. Okay. I mean, it's it's not a bad effect, except during the battle phase, that's already kind of rough, and you already have to have the number of C's in your graveyard, but it's not terrible. <coughs> of all the royals to get, we could still get another. We could still get a royal bonfire. It's not even used in the deck. No! Yeah, it didn't look like it would be. Oh, here's a UR. Okay, so we did get at least one other one besides the guaranteed one. And it's Hita. Oh my god, I thought that was going to be royal for a second. Ooh, I thought that was going to be royal for a second. I was like, oh. <laughs> All right. Here's our guaranteed you are. Oh, we got two you are's here. Got our first unchained soul of Shivara. Okay, we'll definitely take that. We need a play set of that. As well as our second Volcanic Trooper. I mean, if there's something cute you can do with a playset, I might keep it, but... Oh, we have two more packs still. You would be so jelly if you got that as a royal. 
Ooh, we got three things here. What's this? Volcanic Rim Fire. Since the graveyard can't get one of these effects, manage to card from the graveyard if you do get a volcanic monster or send a volcanic monster from your deck to the graveyard. Card from the field if you put some accelerator. Oh, that's neat. That's not bad at all. You can FTK by burn with the volcanics. Kind of a pack upgrade there. That's neat. Do you think we'll get Fire King stuff in a structure or a selection? I would imagine a selection pack. I'd be extremely surprised if we got it in a structure. Hey, Totem Pole, this was, I don't know why I remember this, but I remember in 5Ds when Yusei left the prison, the old guy whose deck he borrowed gave Totem Pole to Yusei, and then he never played it for the whole anime. I don't know why I remember that, because I watched 5Ds as it came out, and I always waited for that Totem Pole to come up. Yusei just straight up never slid it into his deck. I always thought that was really funny. Um, Alright, let's open another 10 packs here. Mm, another one with only one UR. I mean, I say only one UR. We got pretty lucky on the first 10 pack, but the rest have not been as kind to us so far. Yeah, this one. What does this do? Pono cannot target rock monsters you can, with zero attack with the card effects. Once per battle, when your opponent's monster cores are attacking, you can get that attack if you place a counter. If this card is three counters, sent to the graveyard. Well, no wonder Yusei didn't play it. He doesn't use rock monsters, and this is just worse Scrap Iron Scarecrow. Yeah, I wouldn't have put this in my deck either. <laughs> you say realize his regular deck was better than the junk he had to work with in prison. True. Yeah, for somebody who built his deck from the trash, you should you say got really lucky finding like a whole ass archetype in there. It's more of a memento. Yeah, it's just usually funny, you know, when when the, when anime characters do the whole like have my card thing, it usually comes up in a later game. There's a Dempsey. Okay, so we got that. Battle Unboxed for King Dempsey. I was looking to pull a copy of this. Uh, not super interested in Battle Unboxers myself, but this is generic and can add um, Fire Warrior Monsters, so. No luck yet? I mean, we've had pretty decent luck with Unchained stuff. I think we have two more Shivaras to pull, but have not pulled any Bonfires yet. Reason Airlifter Searcher. There's that, there's Infernobles as well. Um, what was the other deck I was thinking of? Okay, nothing here. Spam. Counter counter traps. Oh yeah, with the battle unboxers, yep, they have all the counter traps with counter in the name, which is cute. If you can make rank 4, how are you missing those cards? I mean, I don't know the combo lines myself, but... I think it's an option worth having, potentially. Who replaced hand traps, war breakers with bonfires? Seems like a boost of consistency, but replaces huge war breakers. I was kind of thinking of like, well... I, th I think we definitely don't need to play 3 poplar anymore. Like, with bonfire out, I think we can definitely just go down to 2 poplar. Um, I'm probably just not going to play one for one anymore, because, like, I was already on the fence about that card, and it's like, Bonfire is definitely just better one for one. Um, so, those two cards, and then one other. Um, kind of thinking about the second copy of Original Sin. Might just look at, uh, other options when we build out the list here. Uh, okay, so our Dempsey was our one UR there. Ugh, okay. Let us... Now we still have over 5,000 gems here. Let's keep opening. <laughs> Another one with only one UR. We're going to start off with it. That's okay. It's just going to be the Royal Bonfire, right? And it's... A third Volcanic Trooper! <laughs> Yay! All right. Again, I don't know if there's a cute... Like, engine or pile you can play with that, or what, but I guess we have a playset of Volcanic Troopers now. Volcanic FCK time. I mean, if I don't need the other UR, I mean, it's like, I might as well try it. Alright. Let me get at least one other UR from this 10-pack, please. Okay, maybe. Volcanic Strongest Soldier. Yeah, totally. Knows nothing about the deck. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's just a rent fire.
Okay. Oh, okay, we did get another UR. Here it is. And it's... Our first bonfire! Oh my god, it's actually royal! What the actual fuck? What the fuck? Uh... Uh, uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, wow, uh, holy shit, I need to take a screenshot, what the fuck, <laughs> that's insane, that is actual insanity, <laughs> what, excuse me? <laughs> Let me just uh, pop open to Twitter, and I will quote retweet my going live thing, post this picture, and say in all caps, Uh, so this just happened, WTF! Exclamation point. Post. Alright. Whoo! <laughs> Go flex on Twitter, you better believe! Oh my god! First the ra the first the Royal Flamberge, now the Bonfire, truly was chosen for Snake Eye. Truly was selected. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit! That wasn't even a pack that had a guaranteed UR in it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Attempting to calm down right now. <laughs> Heck of a first Bonfire. Yeah, really though. She's never gonna play Mathemec again! <laughs> oh, ha! Ah, whoo! Alright. You know, when I saw it at flip over at the end, I even had, in the back of my head, I was like, ha ha, what if? And then it, it happened. <laughs> Do you think now that Bonfire here, Snake Eyes Player won't be Zunicorn and Rebirth to keep the deck size to 40? I was actually kind of wondering that myself. I was thinking of trying both. Well, because after I saw that, oh my god, we got another UR here. After I saw that, like every Snake Eye deck in the Duelist Cup was this the Cash Tira variant, I tried it out, and I got another Dempsey, and um, I liked it a lot. Actually, I could definitely see why people were on it for sure. So I'll try it out, see how I feel about it, but. I mean, I think both builds are still valid, and I think both were valid before, but I could also see a world where it's just no longer- Jesus Christ, look at it, it's so beautiful! Uh, I can- I can see a world where, uh, it's not right. You know, I- uh, God. I've had such bad royal luck for so long. It was just waiting. It was just waiting. Fuck, now I have to open at least one more, right? Alright, come on, come on. Okay, no guaranteed UR here, so if I don't get a UR in this one, I'll open the next one and then I'll stop. Because I want to save at least some amount of gems. I don't I don't want to spend all of them today. It could be anything. It could even be another Royal Bonfire. That's lit unironically. <laughs> of course I'm having that thought. Royal Dark Contract for the Unchained Deities? Hell yeah. Hey, speaking of Unchained, we got... Is this our second or third Sharvara? I think it's our second. We'll check after this. I think it's our second. It could even be a Royal Sharvara. It could be. I keep wanting to say Shavara, but I did. I did, in fact, pull a Royal Bonfire. Yeah, I, I keep wanting to call it Shavera, but there's an R in the front. I think it's Sharver. Is it Sharvara? I'd have to look at the name again. Oh, yeah, no, I saw. Yeah, we'll talk later. Oh my god, we got two URs in here. Another Arias. And that's our third Yama. Do you play two or three of this? Um, I mean, I guess we have a third, so we can try it if we if we really wanted to, but I don't know. I haven't looked at Unchained lists, like, at all yet. You also have a Royal Flamberge? I do! I do! I was chosen! <laughs> I was chosen to play Snake Eye! <laughs> two, most of them play two. Okay, two of, got it. Depends. Yeah, I saw someone, I think someone earlier said you, you could play two to three, so I was, I was wondering. I'll hang on to the third one just in case, I guess, for... The time being. Shit. 
Shyama, got another Rimfire. I mean, I think we have like four, five of those now. Could get back with Elf. True. I'm gonna play four. Where's your Royal Hydrant? <sighs> Alas. Who? Somebody has a Royal. Oh, Leah. Leah. Leah has a Royal Hydrant. I was gonna say some some streamer I know has a Royal Hydrant. All right, let's see what we got here. God, I'm still like reeling from that bonfire. Holy shit. Whoo. God damn. <laughs> All right. Um, after this pack, I'm going to take a look at what we have and what we still need. And I'll probably open at least one more. It's... Sharvara. Sharvara. Got it. Okay. Um, I know that's our second Arya. I said I actually don't know how many copies of her you play. Uh, let me see cards included in this pack and your cards. Um, okay, I kind of want an Infernal, Infernal Flame Banshee. Um, and I still need one more Sharvara and then two more Bonfire. Three of Red Dog, one of Blue Dog. Got it. <laughs> Low key surprised you didn't pull Royal Volcanic because you're their greatest supporter. That's good. I was waiting for my Prince of Fire to something for my headset, so I'm guessing that's Royal Bonfire. Yes! <laughs> you heard me from your headset. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> that's good. Oh, that's good. Um, yeah, we well, can do at least one more 10 pack here. Yeah, I, like I said, I kind of want one of these. I definitely need two more of these, and I need one more of these. I mean, we have enough stuff to dismantle, so make that stuff too, but. Let's, let's, let's gambo a little. Ah, hell yeah, here we go. Two more URs at least. I need to pull Royal Rare Kyrie Yushin. There's this, like, now I have this brain worm that's like, keep going until you pull another Royal Bonfire. And that's not a good brain worm to have. Especially because if I pull a second one, I'm going to want a playset. The second one would actually be the most dangerous one to pull for that reason. Okay, fourth A-bomb. Well, third A-bomb we've pulled. Embrace the brain worms. Not those brain worms. Not the gamber brain worms. That's called having an addiction. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, we have at least one other. Did we actually open the gear or one of the guaranteed UR packs? I know we got a UR, but I can't remember if that pack was glowing rainbow or not. I kinda think it wasn't, but we'll see. If you don't even have three royal... Wait, does Pack have three royal bonfire? That'd be wild. 99% of gambling. I love that! I love that meme! I love that meme. <laughs> uh, the the guy, the guys with the pickaxe, you know, chipping towards the diamonds. The first time I saw that meme, someone sent it to me unironically, which made it even funnier. Um, <laughs> let's see here. Hey, we got our first Ashoka pillar. Which, like... Again, this card is not terrible. It straddles for equip spells, which is, like, worth noting. I don't know what deck you're playing equip spells in that also wants to normal summon, like, a level 3 rock monster with zero attack, but it's worth noting. FTK pillar. <laughs> that is not surprising that that card is part of an FTK. That is not even a little surprising. Pax IRL deck. I believe it. 5 to 6k. I 100% believe it. It's like my 8th Rimfire now. Okay, so we did open the other guaranteed UR pack already. Alright. Hmm. Should we do one more? Let's do one more. Let's do one more. That would leave me with 1800 if I did one more. And then, that way, if I whiff on it, I could still open... Yeah, I could still open one last one. Yeah, we'll do one more. Or I guess two more if this doesn't have a UR, which it actually might not. Okay. Imagine if your 5 to 6k deck got savaged by the ban list. I... Okay, not not quite that high, but... I used to play the TCG. I, I, I have had decks worth multiple hundreds coming up on a thousand dollars get... Ravaged by the ban list. Uh, it fucking sucks. It's one of the reasons I don't play the TCG anymore. 
if cards in the TCG, like if a, if a competitive deck in the TCG was $100 instead of $1,000 to build it from scratch, I'd be a lot more fine with it, but <laughs> it's not that way, so I don't play it. <laughs> All right. It's like, you know, I, I was saying this when, when Bonfire first came out in the TCG and it was stupid expensive. I was like, well, I got my price locked in for my playset, at 90 UR deaths, so I guess 60 in this case, we already pulled one. We'd love to pay $100 for competitive decks in the TCG. That's how Pokemon is. It's not how Magic is. <laughs> it's not at all how Magic is, but it is how Pokemon is. But to be fair, you know, Magic, you can still go to a Magic Locals, like, on draft night, and just show up with, like, you know, $15 and, and be able to play at Locals, which is the, the good thing about Magic, right? That's why I only play Popper in Magic. Yeah, definitely. Like, even my commander deck, which is, uh, not, like, not optimized at all, is still, like, I spent a total of, like, $300 making it. <laughs> Rizu's here to whine. What all? What happened, Rizu? You, your pull's not, not so great. We have, we have not seen a UR in this 10-pack, so I think we are actually going to end up getting one more. <laughs> your pulls sucked. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, our pulls have been not bad. <laughs> we, we, we did, in fact, pull a Royal Bonfire, so definitely cannot complain about that. Okay, yeah, we did not get the UR in this 10-pack, so we'll get one more. Because it'll have the guaranteed one. And then we're done. Then we have to be done. Aw, oh, Snod with the gift sub. Hell yeah. Going towards our goal towards viewer duels. If we hit that in a decent amount of time, I will definitely open up a duel room for us to do some testing in. Okay. Like we said last time, none of the packs were glowing rainbow, so this might be a case where the game, like, begrudgingly gives us a UR in the 10th pack. <laughs> I've had that happen before. Rip all of Hex's gems. You know, it was worth it. It was worth it. I mean, to be fair, this is about how many I usually have after a pack release anyway. We just got to save up this time around. One more pull. <laughs> April is tier zero month? Yeah, really. Yeah, we got Rimfire, Promoter. Yeah, no, they're gonna hold off. They're gonna hold out on me until the last, uh... They're gonna hold out on me until the last pack, aren't they? This happens sometimes when you... When you whiff on a UR for a 10-pack, and then you get a guaranteed in the next one. If none of your packs are rainbow, it might not even come until the final pack. And that's the game literally, like, being like, alright, we have to give it to them. <laughs> we have to give this person a UR. We're, we're legally required to at this point. Sounds like the next pack is going to be a banger as well. I haven't, uh, I think I've heard a little bit about it, but not, like, too, too much. Alright, let's see what, uh, yeah, no, it's really going to hold out on us, isn't it? The final card is always a guarantee. Holy moly! An anonymous gifter actually just completed our, uh, sub-goal, so that's wild! Holy cow! Thank you to whoever that was, that was extremely generous of you. And much appreciated. So after I'm done with these pack openings, I will open up that duel room. And yeah, uh, we'll, we'll play some games. Hell yeah, thank you. Ah, oh, thank you so much, Coop. Legitimately, the final card is a guaranteed UR. Yes, I've seen that happen before, too. Ooh, and then we got a thousand bits. Wow, from Heavenly Hollow. That's incredibly generous. Thank you all so much. Level four hype trade. Wow, that's, uh... Have we had a level that high? I think we have only one time before. Uh, that's insane. Thank you all so very much. Uh, you got Seventh Force. And there it is, literally the last card. Like Rizu was saying, it's literally the last card. But you know what? It's an Infernal Flame Banshee, which this is a card I didn't really want to craft, but did want to pull. So I'm glad I got it. Hey, thank you, Snon, so very much. <laughs> called the Banshee? Hell yeah. No, and then Rizu also called it being the... Uh, the last card, too. Wow. They literally had to give it to us, so they were like, fine, here it is. <laughs> so good. 
All right, so there we have it. Uh, let's take a look one last time. So we end up opening a hundred packs of this. We did. I didn't know if we were going to spend all, all the way down, but we did. And we ended up with four Unchained A bombs. We got a playset of the new one, two Dempseys. Uh, we do we actually dodged the Battle Unboxer and Volcanic Boss Monsters, which is frankly good. Still got a playset of the Trooper, a couple of Ariuses. Uh, we only pulled one bonfire. No, of course. <laughs> of course it was a very, very good bonfire to pull. But yeah, so I am going to go ahead and end off the YouTube pack opening video here. We're going to open up that dual room. Uh, thanks everyone on YouTube for watching, by the way. Uh, yeah, so for YouTube, we're just going to move now to our outro. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of the video, that means a lot to me. Uh, it's also a great way to support the channel, so thank you very much for in that way as well. Uh, if you're interested in supporting the channel in other ways, uh, like the very special patrons that I am thanking here, uh, you can do so by checking out some of the links in the description, one of those goes to the Patreon, uh, where you can join these fine folk and support the channel that way. I do post daily content over on Patreon, so uh, you do get something for support there and if you're interested I also have a coaching tier option uh, as well details again will be on patreon in the link below uh, also in the description linked below is my twitch page where I stream uh, a few times a week you can go ahead and check that out follow or subscribe over there uh, if you ever want to catch me live uh, you'll also find my second YouTube channel if you feel like subscribing over there to watch some of the twitch vods as well as some additional uh, non Yu-Gi-Oh related content that I make over there. Uh, again, any of those links you want to check out is all a great way uh, of supporting. But again, even if you don't do that, just watching was also a fantastic way to support. And once again, I have to thank you so very much. But uh, in any case, this is Hexlex. I'm going to be signing out and I'm hoping you have a fantastic day.